Hi, 8th Street Church. Pastor Mikhail here coming to you from my office. You know, over the last five years, we've said together that we need God's grace and we need each other. But I'll confess to you, it hasn't been until a time of global pandemic where I realized how significant and meaningful those words are, how desperately we do need one another. And yet during this time, I also recognize it's becoming increasingly difficult. We're finding it takes time and energy and creativity to find ways to invest in the relationships that we need safely, whether that's practicing distance, meeting outdoors, wearing masks over screens. And while we're afraid of isolation, we're also becoming really tired, many of us. And I understand some of us may even feel like it's too much work to be worth it. But I want to tell you, it is worth it. Whenever we take the effort to care for one another, to listen to each other's stories, and to tell our own, we're actually participating in God's work of healing in our lives and in the lives of others. And so because relationships are just this vital, I want to invite you into three different ways that we can grow in connection and community with one another this fall. And the first one is through parish groups. This is something we've been doing over the last five years, people gathering as neighbors to help care for one another. But of course, like everything else in 2020, parish groups are going to look a little bit different this year. So during the fall months, our groups will be meeting outdoors at least once a month for conversation and prayer. And every person who's been regularly attending 8th Street Church will receive an invitation to join a group near you. But if the group you're invited to doesn't fit your schedule, please let me know and I will help you get connected. And of course, if you don't receive an invitation, we want to make sure you get one. So connect with me and I'll help you do that too. Most of our parish groups are made up of 10 to 20 people, including kids. And so I recognize it's hard in normal circumstances to have truth-telling, soul-sharing conversations in a group that large, but it becomes increasingly more difficult while we're practicing social distancing, we're meeting outdoors, we're wearing masks, or we're meeting over Zoom calls. So I want to encourage you to think about two to three people that you can have intentional digging beneath the surface kinds of conversations with on a regular basis. And maybe you, like so many of us, are longing for something like this, but you don't really know how to make it happen. And I've been there too. So I invite you to join me for a Zoom workshop on Thursday, September 24, to guide us through a format to help us develop these kinds of spiritual friendships. I'm excited to share with you a resource that helped me develop significant and long-lasting spiritual conversations through a format of conversation, prayer, practice, and accountability. So please register for this workshop so that you can receive the link for the Zoom meeting, or if you'd like to request a recording of it, it will be available as well. And then finally, we'll be offering group uh, studies on Thursday nights over Zoom this fall and throughout the school year. Right now, Pastor Chris is wrapping up a study on the book of Revelation. And then in October, I'll be leading a group conversation through a really excellent book called The Next Right Thing by Emily P. Freeman. And we have some other studies in the works too on Bible, theology, parenting, and then practicing Lexio Divina together. So watch your email, the worship folder, your social media to hear about and sign up for new offerings as they come available. In all of this, I hope you can hear me saying that our relationships matter a whole lot. And even while we can't spend time together like we normally do, we are committed to finding creative and meaningful ways for us to practice hearing one another's stories and being really good neighbors. So I hope you will join us in that. If you have questions or you'd like more information on any of this, please email me and I'd be happy to talk you through it. You are so very loved, people of the 8th Street Church, and you are not alone. Grace and peace to you. Bye-bye.